Happy Monday afternoon, I guess. Oh, I got some good news. This bike here needs all three tires aired up, and it's ready to go. And then the only thing I want to do to it is this nut here, this screw, whatever you want to call it, needs replacing it stripped out causes the handlebars to rock back and forth thankfully I could just go to the hardware store and pick up one one like it and just swap it out that's that'll be the easy part those nuts there I'm sure five or six eight bucks whatever they are they're not cheap, I know that. But the three tires need to be aired up. There's not much air in the front one. I think there's less in the back too. Less air, that is. But I did put the chain on a while ago. I'll show you here. If it'll show up. This, uh back chain here right there it fell off I put that on and I just never got around to uh, riding the bike never got around to checking it yeah, the back tires are low on air got a little rust here because of it sitting outside so much but now once the air gets put in the tires start riding bike more it's a six block walk to the gas station to air it up but I guess six blocks is better than walking three or four miles in yeah, that chain was real easy to put on what I did was I got it hooked I got it hooked down on the bottom then I lifted the back, I lifted up on the back of the uh, back here. And then I got it to where I took the pedals and spun them forward to the point where that chain would just rotate up onto that little sprocket there. But yeah, if I... Uh, Go ahead and replace that one uh, screw. Get the two ears, uh, all three tires aired up. I've got a good bike for the summertime. It'll help me do some scrap. And I can ride bike into Fargo, North Dakota. Show you guys some good stuff. I'll be able to take metal into... Uh, and some cordage into more than likely Ken's Recycling in Moorhead. I could go to Gerdau, but that's like eight miles, where Ken's is like three and a half miles, but Ken's doesn't pay as much per pound. Now this bike here, brother's bike, I don't know right where that chain is down in there sprocket down in there broke off so that's laying loose that sprocket is and I don't know how to fix that that sprocket is as loose as can be it broke off of the uh, uh, what you call it I can't think of the name of it but it broke off that little hub or whatever it is so, and I, I, I don't have the tools to fix it, let alone the parts and all that stuff. So, that part is going to have to be done by somebody at a bike shop. Until then, I could always swipe a part off of here. There's that one screw I was telling you about on my bike. I could take the one off of this bike, just swap them out. And then when we get this bike fixed, just go ahead and replace that screw it in. 
Saved myself a few bucks. But yeah, if it weren't for that one deal in there with the, that sprocket, this bike could actually be pretty good. A neighbor of mine might be helping me out. She might have a bike pump for the uh, tires, and if she does, I don't have to walk down to the gas station. Which, you know, I don't mind making the walk, but it is what it is. But I'm going to get going here, and I might see y'all later.